Amy Rogers is in Naples, Florida, covering the Grant Thornton. It's a mixed a team event, PGA and LPGA Tour professionals. Amy, what's uh, some of the reaction you're getting down there? Hey there, Rich. Well, as you mentioned, practice rounds are underway here ahead of the Grant Thornton Invitational, which gets underway here uh, tomorrow. So all players were out uh, on the course when news of this uh, Wall Street Journal story broke about uh, John Rahm's departure for Liv. So as I approached players, I was the first to inform them uh, about this report. And the first player I spoke to uh, was Jason Day. He said he was well aware of the rumors involving uh, Rahm potentially going to Liv, as well as some other players uh, whose names he did not mention. I also spoke with Justin Rose, who told me if, in fact, these reports do turn out to be true, that Rahm is, in fact, leaving the PGA Tour for Liv, he said he didn't feel like it was a good indication of how the negotiations must be going between the PGA Tour and the PIF. Here's more from both Day and Rose on the reaction to today's report. I think if, if there was ever a person to go across, it'd probably be him. Just um, just because he's got, you know, at least the next five years of majors. Um, he's got, what, Augusta for the rest of his life and then um, his US Open. I'm not sure how long the exemption is, if, it, if it's five or ten years, but like it's, he's in the majors for the next five years. I think um, if there was someone that was a good candidate, it would probably be him, and I understand that some guys do it for um, the money, and majority of the time it is for the money, um, which I have no problem with. Um, it's just a little bit unfortunate that, we, you know, that we're going to lose one, um, and I think it would have been nice to be able to get past you know, this deadline and, and see where things you know, kind of I guess fell um, before he could make a decision, but um, you know I can't fault him for you know making a decision for himself and for his family as well. Are you surprised to see a player now still going on to live after the sort of agreement that was being reached between the PIF and the PGA Tour? Um, see, I'm I'm kind of out of the scene. I kind of just keep my head down a little bit, but I, I think it's just hard because you you just know that. There is opportunity. If you're a good player, there is opportunity to go elsewhere, like live, mm -hmm. um, for a significant amount of money. And everyone has a number, um, unfortunately, uh, in, in, in these cases. But um, I, just, I wish him nothing but the best. I think I'm going to be seeing him at majors um, if he, and that's if he does go. I'm um, obviously, you know, Wall Street Journal uh, saying that it's pretty much a done deal. Um, you know, you never know what happens until it actually happens, but. Um, yeah, I think a lot of things have played out and I just, for me to kind of assume certain things, it's just hard to kind of give my full, you know, opinion, um, just based off, you know, just the limited information that I have. I mean, that suddenly feels very real. Obviously, someone like the Wall Street Journal doesn't dive in on stories without a lot of thought and background, I suppose. Like you'd, 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 ho you'd hope anyway. And obviously, there's been a ton of chatter amongst the guys out here. And, um, yeah, John's a huge coup for, for Liv, obviously, and a huge blow for the PJ Tour. And, you know, it definitely comes at a very interesting time when I think there's a lot of negotiations happening at the moment, right? I think we know that there's some type of 31st of December deadline amongst talks between PJ Tour and whoever it may be, you know, cut, you know, potential investors into the tour and, you know, merger talks and all these things that I think are quite confusing for people from the outside looking in about why this is all kind of going down. But, um, yeah, so you can look at it both ways that maybe things are not going well on one side of things and... Uh, the recruiting is starting pretty hard again on on, on, on that. So yeah, it's obviously it's a, it's a, it's a big it's a big statement and a big news and um, yeah, tough t tough for the PJ Tour to lose to lose Rambo for sure. Do you think this is going to be the first of more to come? I got no idea. I mean, there are other rumors out there, and I've spoken to some of the other named rumors, and that they don't you know they're playing it very straight, and you know they they do seem rumors. So I don't know where the truth lies. You know until and obviously this is still hasn't we haven't heard from John. So at the end of the day, until you truly, truly, truly see it with your own eyes, I think all of these rumours for two years now, they've been, they've been rife. And I think until you see it with your own eyes, it's best not to believe too much. But obviously, you've got to give some credibility to someone like the Wall Street Journal and at least, at least uh, discuss it. 
Well, as you heard from both players there, both Jay and Rose acknowledging that there continue to be rumors that swirl about players uh, potentially leaving the PGA Tour for Live as well. And as Rose said, he thinks that Rom's departure could potentially be just the first in what could be the next wave of departures as this deadline between the PGA Tour and the PIF to reach an agreement is rapidly approaching. Guys? Amy Rogers in Naples with some strong thoughts from a couple of former Oof. world number ones and major champs and Jason Day and Justin Rose.